Hi there, and welcome to another in our series of short answers. We focus on a particular topic and ask two related questions. The session is on long run production, a micro topic. Here's the first question. How does the long run production function differ from the short run production function? Here's my answer. In the short run, uh, we assume there's at least one fixed factor of production. Now, it can depend. It's normally the amount of land or the amount of fixed capital available for supplying goods and services. So there's at least one fixed factor in the short run. But in the long run, there are no fixed factors. All factor inputs are variable. And this, the consequence of this is that businesses can change the scale of production and also alter the mix of inputs between labour and capital. For example, move from a labour intensive production technique, perhaps to a more capital intensive production technique, perhaps with the use of robotics. In the long run production function, we tend to focus on the nature of what's called returns to scale. And in particular, if there are increasing returns, then we say there are economies of scale for a firm to exploit and experience. Here's a quick numerical example of this. So we might change all the factor inputs used by, let's say, 50% in each case. Change the amount of land and labour and capital by 50%. The output we get resulting from that describes the returns to scale. So for 50% increase in factor inputs used causes the total output to rise by 100%. We have increasing returns to scale and the long, the long and average cost will be falling. If output rises in proportion to input, constant returns to scale, the average cost stays the same. And if output doesn't rise quite as fast as factor inputs, 50% rise in inputs, only a 20% change in output, we have decreasing returns. In other words, the average cost is rising. That relates to diseconomies of scale. Our second question. Explain how diseconomies of scale can affect the long run profitability of a business. So I'll start with the definition. Diseconomies of scale mean the firm is producing a level of output higher than the minimum efficient scale. And that, of course, implies that the average cost of production in the long run will be higher because the firm is losing some productive efficiency. They've moved, in a sense, beyond their optimum output. And we can show that there'll be a squeeze on profits because costs are rising. And also, perhaps they have to sell the extra output at a, at a lower price. So, to show how diseconomies of scale can affect profitability, let's use let's use an analysis diagram. And here it comes. I've taken out the marginal cost here. I don't necessarily need to show profit maximization outputs, but you get the idea here. The two outputs, Q1 and Q2. Q1 is close to where the cost of a minimum. You can sell Q1 at price P1. There's the cost C1, so the yellow box here is the profit. But if a firm was to be used at Q2, much higher output, and the average cost in the long run is now rising, diseconomies of scale, price is lower, we're trying to sell more goods and services, cost is higher, so the profit per unit gets squeezed, P2 minus C2, this orange, light orange area shows the profit, and the yellow area is bigger than the orange area, so the diseconomies of scale can cause the long run profits of a business to fall because they've moved beyond the optimum size of production. That's the short answer on long run production.